Hey everyone, it's me Zeta. So, I thought I would uh, make a little tutorial series on how to make a 2D online RPG with Intercept. Alright, so this is episode 1. We're going to download and log in today. So, let's get to it. First, you want to go to Google, type in Free MMO RPG Maker. Then, we're going to go to Intersect Engine at Ascension Game Dev. Okay, we're going to download uh, Intersect Engine Beta 5.1. Then, once you have downloaded that, we're going to have it right here. We're going to go ahead and open it up. We got our three folders. First, we're going to go to the server and we're going to go to the server application. And what it's doing right now is uh, downloading everything you need. It allow access if you know something like that pops up, and it says uh, should be going. Okay, so now we're going to go over here to the client, and you'll notice that all we have is the client editor. Uh, it's once we run the client, we're going to get everything we need downloaded. Alright, so we're going to have to go to register, and then we're just going to make our test character. Uh, email doesn't really matter. You can put whatever you want here. It just has to be something, you know, with the real email at the end. Hit register. Now we're going to create our character. Just make his name test. So the class, all we have is default. Um, I may show you how to add classes in this video as well. We'll see. Alright, so now uh, we are logged in. And I believe that the first character that is logged in is made an administrator, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Uh, one way we can find out the is by trying to access the editor. And you just use the same username that uh, you created. Alright, so we are logged in and we are an administrator. If we hit F2, we get this little thing that uh, pops up, tells us some information. We can move it around if we want. Um, we have our inventory, our spells, character, our quest log, friends, our party, and options and other things. And that is our uh, first logging in. Now we'll go ahead and we're going to go back to the editor. Now as you can tell, um, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, this big section right here this is the map editor. Um, for now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill in this with grass just so when we go back on our client we're not staring at a big black emptiness. Alright so if you go up here to game editors you'll see we have a whole bunch of stuff but what we're looking for is the class editor we can go to default. Now well, all we're going to do for now is uh, change it. We'll just name it something generic like Warrior. Whoops. There we go. And we'll hit save. And then uh, we'll go ahead. We'll create a new one. You can create a new one by clicking on this icon here. And it'll pop up in the classes list down here. Once you click on it, all the information for it will pop up. Now we're just going to call this, um, I don't know. Let's go with night. Why not? You can make it locked too if you want. So um, later on in the game, you can make it unlockable through events or something. Uh, we'll just leave that open for now. So 
Now we'll go over here to the sprite and the face. We'll just leave the face blank. Um, or this is the option for the sprites. We'll go, this is the male. Uh, let's see, let's find something that looks kind of like a knight. Let's see here. I don't know. We're just going to go with that guy. Why not? And then we'll go female. Do the same thing. Although we're just going to go with like uh, that one. Alright. This will be the spawn point. You can um, either put it in manually or you can click on this and uh, this will open up your map list and we're just going to put the spawn point right there. This is the base stats for the class obviously so we're going to go ahead and go, I don't know, 100 make his attack, 2, give him, I don't know, <clears throat> excuse me, 3 armor. Uh, we'll make him a little slow though actually 20 because you move really slow all right mana we'll give him 100 ability power we'll give him two magic resist we'll give him one starting points we'll give him five and <clears throat> um spells we're going to leave blank for now this we're going to just leave blank base damage is one critical chance percent uh you know you can go through all this stuff and change it however you want you know basic speed of level all this you know it's a pretty in-depth stuff and we're just gonna hit save so now if we log out and we go to login ignore all this, this is my stuff I was testing earlier all right oh Okay, so did that wrong apparently. We're gonna make a new character of this. We'll go to test it. Alright, test two. Now as you can see, our classes we have warrior and knight. Go ahead and make them a knight. Oh, I got those mixed up apparently, but whatever. You you know, you see how it works. Alright, so I guess we'll be a female dude. And we spawn in our area we chose. And if we go to our character info, you can see all of our stuff is set. And we got our points. And uh, that's about it for that. Okay, so in the next video, I was thinking about doing... Um, going over the editor, the map editor more in depth and uh, showing how all that stuff works. If you have any ideas or suggestions or anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and hope this helps out in some way. Thanks for watching.